Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. Yes, uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to uh, reverse the uh, even index position characters in a given string. We have performed several logics uh, and implementations in arrays and same thing we're gonna do on the strings so that you will understand the concept and my view of developing the programs, right? So this one is how to reverse the even index position characters of a given string. I've already made a video regarding how to um, find the characters of even index position in a given string. So you're supposed to find the characters which are of even index position and this will be a continuation of the previous video you're just reversing that what you found you're finding the characters which are actually present in the even index and that character should be reversed and it should be printed on the console so whatever you see on the screen is just a very simple logic it just takes five minutes to implement and if you watch that my uh, that uh, a previous video it is just one minute it is just an extension of the logic i am just adding a for loop so this for loop i've added uh, to just print from the end of our uh, of end of a car array so it is result dot length minus one so you know right why result dot length minus one is being used when you use result dot length minus one it triggers at the end of end uh, at the last index position of a given character array so uh, it starts printing from the last that is it starts printing from right to left right so that is when uh, the data gets printed in the reverse order okay so when you do i minus minus your loop gets decremented and uh, the characters will be moving from right to left and the follow will trigger the values from uh, right to left and it keeps printing on the console okay i hope you understood the concept so i'm just taking off everything except the initialization and declaration of array and uh, i'll make sure that you understand everything and you don't need to go back and check for anything in my uh, tutorials because that's not my main agenda the only thing is for you to know what the concept is and for you to understand how to approach towards a program right so yeah i'm just taking off everything yes so there's nothing left i have just an initialization and declaration of array which is confused so c is even index position yes so let's make it down c and n is even in index position yes and uh, u is even index position and e is even index position but what should be our output our output should be reverse of even index position characters it should be uh, e u n and c right so please have a look at this now what i'm doing to iterate a string or to get individual elements of a string we are supposed to convert it to an array so what is the inbuilt method that we are actually using it is to char array so i'm storing it into a character array by giving a variable name as word which is equals to a dot to char array i'm converting it to an array finally i'm iterating a loop so when you iterate a loop you get individual elements of a string now what is my main logic if i modulus if in any index position of a given string modulus when we perform modulus if it is modulus of two if we perform modulus of two and it and it and, and it gives the reminder zero then it means that it is a even number so even number means even index position character right so if i modulus two if it is equals to zero the reminder is equals to zero then i is even index position so you're supposed to store the if that index position character into your resultant some resultant variable so i'm taking that result as my character array only so char yes i'm naming it as a result which is equals to new char and i'm specifying a size of this size only i'm giving half of this size that is word dot length divided by two i simply don't want to waste the memory i'm just taking word dot length by two so that i'll get the half of this entire length because anyways we're gonna store only the even elements even elements and odd elements uh, both have a half of the length in this so that is the reason i have just took the half now finally if it is equals to zero i'm storing it into my resultant array that is result of k which is equals to word of i right and you must increment k yes so int k is equals to zero you actually need one variable to iterate uh, or to store it right so that is the reason i have taken k you have you can take anything you want so this is the logic which you actually need 
to know or to find the even uh, index position characters of a given string so when you print this you will get this output the first output okay so if you want to see this properly the output please do watch the previous video because i have made it so perfectly and further moving on finally you're supposed to reverse what you have found so we have found this one still here what is the next step we are supposed to reverse it so after this for loop just take another for loop yes iterate over array but i've already told you the logic right it is just i greater than or equal to zero now why am i giving this condition because some of the other time the condition should fail and it should come out of the loop or else it will become a deadlock that is infinite loop so i don't want that to happen and i'm giving result dot length minus one right and i'm uh, and at the beginning of the video only i've already explained you why am i taking result dot length minus one because i want my for loop to trigger at the last index position of a given character array right and finally i'm printing the result as uh, yes plus result of yes i and I'm taking this and ln to have my output in a single line and it should be perfect on the console yes so we're supposed to see this output on the console now so I'm just saving the program and then running oh I'm getting some yeah so what why are you getting this error and why am I getting this error even index reverse order so in reverse order I've already told you that we are supposed to minus not to increment the loop right you're supposed to decrement the loop when you decrement the loop the loop or the input moves from uh, right hand side to left hand side and uh, the data gets printed in the reverse order so i'll save and run this once again so that you can see the exception disappears and you get the output exactly yes so this is what we wanted right e u n c yes so you can see e u n c has been printed yes i hope you people understood this video if you didn't please do let me know in the comments so that i can come back to you in a better approach yes uh, thank you very much for watching and if you did like this video please do share and subscribe and please do share among your friends and tell them how easy it is to code if you understand the concept right yes thank you so much for watching